All right, what's up guys? Peyton Bennett here, that's a good fish. I was sitting at home today doing nothing and Fortnite was getting a little bit too boring. Halo was getting a little bit too repetitive. So I thought it was time to go catch some fish. So we are at a, just a really small public lake here uh, where I'm from and it's just got huge bluegill, tons of little bass. And I just decided to come out here with my fly rod and see if we can catch some fish today in a very short time. So, and the bluegill are up spawning right now. The honeycomb beds are up. It literally looks like a bunch of honeycomb uh, just sitting in the water and there's some big bluegill just swimming around. So we're gonna go see if we can get them. We don't have much. I literally just went to Bud's and picked up a little small deal of flies. It's just a little bitty container full of an assortment of different flies. And this is really all you need for bluegill fishing. Some people use crickets, some people use wax worms. Those work great, but I'm gonna try and catch them on a fly rod today. So let's see what happens. All right, so anytime you're looking for spawning bluegill, you need flat area and there needs to be a little bit of rock and you'll just see little bitty spots, holes hollowed out in the algae and there's a bunch right here, a um, bunch of bluegill too. I don't know how locked onto the beds they're gonna be. Oh, just threw my fly rod off. Bad thing about a two piece, eh? Let me just go ahead and piece that back together there for you. Don't know how locked on they're gonna be Usually, honestly, it's June uh, before they start really getting locked on, but it's been pretty warm lately. I'm gonna bet this pond is close to 70, 75 degrees probably, so, which is plenty warm. So let's see what happens. This is just a little topwater one. There's one. Fun to catch. This one's not even that real, that big, really. But nice fish. He's peeing for you guys. Everyone likes to eat crappie, and I do too. They're really good. Walleye are the best. Just can't catch them. Um, but if you get bluegill big enough, this size, they are just as good as crappie, in my opinion really good to eat i'm gonna let this guy go i'm not gonna keep any today see you pal i think we might have a good one here a little better one feels like a grown fish oh yeah nice one look at this one yeah like we've done with all the other ones, because we are not gonna eat these fish today. Just catch and release. Man, they are so quick. There's one. Guys, I've switched colors like three times and they did not like the yellow one at all. So it's weird. I mean, they, they wanted want something a little smaller, more nymph-like, not with a bunch of wings or anything like that. They just wanted something really subtle and then this fish ate it. So it's kind of crazy. Even with bluegill, they're pretty picky sometimes. There's about 30 more out there, so we'll see how spooky they are now that I caught one of their buds. They get super jealous and protective, and there's one right there. Got him. And there we go. There's another guy. Not bad.
But really all I'm doing is I'm watching my fly leader. If it jumps, then I know I got one. Like that right there. He, my line just jumped a little bit. That means you got one. This is a really small one here. Oh, he came off. I don't think the big females have moved up yet, but won't be long. So, and then I'm just going to kind of knead it is what I call it. There's one. That's a little better one there. Yeah, this is a better one. This is a nice one. Super pretty too. Super pretty. Look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful fish. That is a nice bluegill. Really nice. Good eating size right there. You could get a nice chunk right off that. But we're gonna let them go. That's like four, three or four in back to back to back casts. So all I'm using is I went to Bud's Bait, got this little lake and stream fly box, real cheap, easy, and I put it on my fly rod and that's all I'm using. Some of these flies have not worked. The yellow one hasn't worked. The ones with a lot of wings and feathers have not worked. It's been more like a nymph or a small bug today that they want. Uh, otherwise they kind of just go up to it, look at it, don't want it, or they suck it in, spit it out before you can set the hook. So as far as reel and rod, I'm just using a Fluger fly rod that I got at Bud's Bait as well. This is a two piece, nothing like crazy special. And I don't claim to be a good fly fisherman by any means, but it is all you need to catch some of these panfish uh, at these little small lakes and ponds. And then even in streams where you use streamers and things like that, you can have a ton of fun in the late spring and the summer when it gets really hot. Watch your fly line and just kind of barely pulling. There's one. Nice one too. There he is. Oop. There he goes. Not a bad fish right there. Can't beat it. See you later, pal. There's one. Mm-hmm. Doesn't this just take you back to when you were kids and you, all you knew how to catch was panfish. That's how everyone started mostly. And that's how I feel when I do it this way. I didn't used to catch them on a fly rod like this, so I make it a little more sporty by doing that, but catching bluegill. Big panfish. Still fun, especially when you got nothing else to do at home. Go to your local pond, small lake, and catch some of these. Super fun. Fish on. Mm. Oh, he's taking me into the bushes. Oh. Don't want to lose this fish, guys. Oh, look at that jump. Look at that. Oh, panfish. And he's peeing for you guys. Not bad. He gone. go guys having a blast out here at this public small pond small lake whatever you want to call it catching these big bluegill on a fly rod it's been great i uh, hope you guys enjoy it hope you guys get to do that this time sometime this summer uh, it's a great way to stay cool and just catch fish and that's what it's all about so if you have any questions or anything about what i'm doing um, put it in the comments below and otherwise just please subscribe and check out more that's a good fish in the future thanks